Hola familia, my name is Ray Omero. Happy to be back here today. Uh, Happy New Year. Feliz año to all of you. Uh, Today I'm going to be sharing uh, a devotional that was inspired in a photograph that I took uh, while I was in Venezuela a few weeks ago. And uh, it was very interesting what the Lord showed me through it. So I'm going to share it with you so you can see it. So... In this photograph, um, we were going to a little island that is in front of uh, kind of like towards here. And I took this picture, of course, from this angle. And I noticed that all these boats, little boats, were tied to one another. And then with these ropes, and then they were tied all together to these anchored on the ground Um, and as I was looking at it I took the picture because of the colors I thought the colors were amazing and I I looked and I noticed that all those boats were tied to each other and then with all those ropes they were tied to this big anchored on the ground that was uh, covered with uh, with a bunch of stuff anyways um, so I was as I was looking at it I really felt the voice of the Holy Spirit telling me to look even farther. So when I really paid attention to what I was looking, uh, I was photographing at that moment, I noticed that all those boats were tied together, as I said before, but that was what's keeping them in place. There were probably 15 or more and they won't go adrift because they were all tied to one another and then to this anchor. And I really literally, and I don't do this, these things or I don't hear them that often, but I, I heard this voice saying, this is who I am in your life. I am this anchor that keep you in place and doesn't allow you to go adrift in this crazy world. And then I thought about the ropes because what good is an anchor without the rope you know uh, the ropes are the one tight tied into one another the the one they tied each boat to one another and the one that they tied all of them to this anchor and i thought about you my church family and how you have been that for me through these past 15 16 years since i've been walking with christ uh, here in calvary chapel hemet you know pastor gary all our church family, you know who you are. You know how often I reach out to you and how, and you know for how long and how many times you have been that rope that has kept me, my husband, my children together so we won't go adrift. And in all that, which is that church family, we all tied together to this big anchor, which is Jesus Christ, which is the anchor of our soul. So I was looking in the book of Hebrews about this word, an ankle of our soul, uh, of our soul, uh, with that sentence, and I came across Hebrews six nineteen that says, "This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast." And I thought that that was so neat. How the certainty that we have in God's promises give us that hope that tied us all together that hope that is set before us in our faith in in the coming in the coming of the lord in in the way we should interact with one another and to me it's all reflected in that photograph which i want to print and have in my house it's a great reminder of who jesus is in my life and who you are in my life so this devo is with the intention of you thinking about all that people that it's it has given you that rope that tied your boat to one another or your family and keep them together hold them accountable and with that all together as a family anchored in in the truth that we know that is in jesus christ so this is uh my little devo for the beginning of the year and i hope that it will touch your heart as much as it touched mine and it make you reflect and reach out and give thanks to those people that you love that has been so important in your walk with Christ. So let me close in prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you for 
my church family, Lord, for our church family that is so important in our, in our life and help us to be grounded, Lord, and to be tied to one another so we won't fall apart or go adrift. Lord, thank you for Jesus, your son, that came to this world to die for our sins and to bring salvation into our life. Thank you for the hope that we have in him, that he is the anchor of our soul. Thank you, Father. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Thank you.